morning, everyone. I hope you're all doing good. I'm back today, and I'm going to cook some turnips. I may do come back on and do some other things, but I'm going to show you how I cook turnips. And uh, these have I have washed these, but they don't look like it, but I have. But I'm going to get ready to peel them. And I'm just going to do a small amount in a saucepan because... Um, I don't have anybody to eat them up for me. But you can do as many as you want or as many as it takes to feed the amount of people that you're going to serve that day. And uh, But I'm just going to show you how I do these. And then I'll come back on and probably make something else today too. But um, I haven't been on here. And I'm not sure these turnips are going to be very good. Sometimes turnips are what you call pethy. I'm going to cut this open. Get a bigger knife. They do look a little pethy inside. That's when they get uh, a little porous, but they're just starting. Right here they are. I'm gonna maybe see if I can cut some of that off and it won't be quite as bad. You never know when you get a turnip what it's gonna be like. So, I think I'm gonna have to slide my camera down. My camera tilts like I want it to, but it won't stay. It doesn't stay like I want it to. I'm going to peel this other one. And uh, I'm going to tell you a story. I have, I had a friend that used to come and visit me every day. And they came for about a little over two months. I left for a couple of weeks and went to my daughter's. And when I came back home, my friends still come and visited me. And I was so happy to have a friend like this friend. And yesterday, my friend came to see me again. And uh, I didn't know he was there. I really wasn't paying attention to him, and I felt something on my leg, and I didn't see anything, so I pulled my pant leg up. I felt something real quick. He stung me. My friend stung me, and he was such a good friend, and I know he didn't really want to. But he did because he was scared. My pant leg touched him. And boy, he stung me. He was a little sweet honeybee. And he'd come to see me every day. For a long time. And he would sit on my hand. He would get on my feet. He would sit on my table. When I was out on the patio. And um, so... Anyway, I seen the stinger there, and I pulled it out just as quick as I could. And it was burning really bad. I'd never been stung by a bee before. And it was burning, burning, burning. So, I uh, come and made a paste of some baking soda and water and put on that for about 15 minutes. But I had squeezed all the way around where he bit me. Squeezed real hard and was hoping to get some of that poison out or whatever it is they put in you when they sting and it did stop burning and the uh, baking soda helped never swelled up a bit I was surprised I didn't know what to expect from that but my poor little friend died because as soon as they sting you they die and I hated that so bad because he was come and see me every day okay I've got these all cut up and I'm going to 
cut them in little bit smaller pieces so they'll cook up faster. And I'm gonna put them in the water. I don't know if, uh, maybe some of you have never ate a turnip before. And um, I like them. I didn't used to like them when I was younger, but I grew to like them. I just my, I think your taste changes when you get older. Not really sure. I think it does. And uh, anyway, I like turnips. You can eat them. Just peel them and slice them and eat them. If if you want a little snack. And uh, that way. But I like them cooked. See my pan, I'm putting them in or not. I'm only going to cook up these two. And what I do is I put these on the stove and bring them to a boil. And get them boiling real good, and then I take them off and drain all this water off. And that's what I'm going to do. And I'm going to be draining the water off. salt in the water, whoops, and on the stove and some on the floor. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, I had company this week, this week, and, um, well, it was not really company, it was family, and, uh, my granddaughter and her two children, two of her children came to see me, the two girls, and, uh, Bethany, and, Maya and Emma, and I was so glad for them to come, and that's why I didn't I didn't go ahead and take time to do a video because I enjoyed visiting with them so much. So anyway, I'm gonna let these come to a boil, then I'm gonna drain them and put fresh water on them, and then I'll be back on when they get done and tell you what else I'm gonna do to them. See you in a little bit. Okay, I'm back. And I'm getting ready to drain these turnips. And I was going to tell you, the turnip is a root vegetable. I don't know if I told you that or not. And it is in the cabbage family. And uh, it sort of has the taste between cabbage and a radish. Kind of in between that. Now, these that I have just cooked can be left in little chunks or you can mash them like mashed potatoes. That's how you know how long to cook them. You test them with your fork, and if they feel fork tender like a mashed potato does, then they're done. And uh, I'm gonna show you. I'm not gonna mash mine. If they mash up when I stir them, it'll be okay. But what I'm gonna do is put some butter in them. And the, when I put new water in here, I, uh, when I put the fresh water after I drained it, that was to make it not be bitter when the first time I boiled it. Sometimes turnips can be bitter, and I uh, always boil them for just a little bit and then drain that water and put fresh water on them. So I'm putting in just a little bit of butter, and you put in however much you want for the amount of turnips. You may want to do more turnips than this, because I didn't do very many. I just did enough for me. If you want, you can leave them just like that and put salt and pepper. And I did re-salt this water. And uh, <clears throat> I might add a little pepper. But I'm also gonna put just a tiny bit of nutmeg. Now you don't have to do this, but I like nutmeg. And I'm just putting a tiny bit on there. And I'm gonna put a tiny bit of brown sugar in them because I like mine sweet. Now most people wouldn't want any sweetening in it, but I'm gonna put a little bit of brown sugar, just probably not even a tablespoon. And then I'm gonna stir this all up and if 
if some of it gets smashed up, it's fine. I don't, I could smash it all if I wanted to, but, um, just mixing that all up. When you mash them, more of the, uh, butter and the sugar and stuff gets into the turnip. Some people eat turnip greens too. I'm going to take a bite of this. I know it's going to be hot. Now this, I can taste the sweetness. You may not want sweetness in yours. You don't have to put sugar in it at all. Just butter and salt and pepper. But I did that in case you like something sweeter so you'd know that you could do that. There's all kinds of casserole recipes that you can make with turnips and different things. But uh, these are so good. If you like cabbage, and I do, you'll like it. But like I said, you want to make sure you boil it and rinse that first water off. And that takes helps it not to be bitter. Mm. They are so, so good. And this is the time of year to find turnips, too. At your grocery stores and, and different places. So... So I'm going to put these in this little dish. Anyway, if you've never tried them, at least give them a try. And maybe somebody in your family would like them. If you've never tried them, give them a try. I think you will like them. So good. Okay, I'll be back soon. I'm going to do another video soon for you. It may be today. And um, I'll see you later. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.